is intoxicated vanilla uh, one ZA. Uh, it's a bit into the warp now, it's the ninth. So we're trying to figure out now if we're gonna build snow or if we're gonna build closer to the desert or if we're just gonna keep to the countryside. So like G, let's go for the G. Let's go for G, we can't go for G6. That would have been a good spot. Since it's the 9th, we will stick with G9. So, that's where we were headed. Now, it's been a while. I have got a few hours in this game. Uh, that's a bear. Well, I'll take my chances. Eh, doesn't seem too bad. So we gotta get a base up. We've gotta get ourselves acquainted with the server. We need to find out where we are sitting right now as we don't have BPs or anything. So that's gonna be a challenge on its own at the moment. But the wipe is on the 16th again, so we want to make sure that we have enough BPs. And look at that! Bloody... We've got a flippin... Has he? That's crazy. That's actually like... I do need to get some wood. I'm hearing that bear again. Not really happy about that. You won't believe it, it's actually a horse. Need some stone. Desperately. Oh, there's a shiny bit. Oh, there's a big base right over there. So, uh. Stone is done. Now I am aware that the mic quality is not the best, but I have a normal mic, I don't have one of those studio mics, and it will improve. I am fiddling with the settings, so hopefully things will get better as we go. G9. Let's quickly get this base down before the heli We are secure enough, I would say. Well, let's see how this goes, I guess. But we are built... We built right on G9. I mean, I don't know why the 9 is like it. Anyway, we built on G9. Now, maybe what we want to do is we actually want to go scrap some of this. Uh, we don't need those things right now. Well that's cool, there's one of those caves. I can go get my stone and metal frags from there if I need. 
So that's a close enough point for me to begin with. And we made it. Well, pretty scrap. Uh, 124 metal frags and 2 alcohol. Gotta begin somewhere. I think we'll just take all of this back home. That was weird. Now what we need to do is go and farm. Oh, I've got some stuff. I think let's take it back to base. Quickly build another airlock here. I think the last thing we need is for anybody just to get in here and take all of our stuff. Now it is worth to note that for the next couple of days you don't really see other players. We do meet one or two but there's not many that I see around the area we built in. But we sure enough do meet players eventually. What do we need for a bow? Wooden cloth. We're doing cloth. <laughs> Never mind. That was easy. And then some arrows. With me, I'm missing like crazy. Oh, that was that was horrible. did what I did earlier. Put two bags down. Same bells after. I don't know what's up with these animals under these trees, but freaking heck. Like whatever. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. so far. Bloody hell. Finally. Let's get the heck out of here. What's the boar doing? Oh my 
gosh, I'm so bad. Ah! Come here. No, 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 no. The chase is on. Okay, my hatchet broke and so did the bear. What is going on? No, I've had enough of you. Here are we gonna find stone? Oh, there we go. Stone node. see anything. Let's quickly upgrade the base. Uh, let's get two furnaces, it should be okay for now. After heading to outpost, I just need to go and farm a bit more stone and some metal or sulfur, whatever I could find. And we're done. So much stone. That's not too bad for a quick run from outpost. I mean, what is that? It's one block away. Lots of script now. Let's go run the road. We'll go to train yard. I don't know if I'm kitted out enough, enough for train yard. But we can make it happen. I'll come back for you. from our run so far. Time to scrap. What can we learn? What should we learn? How much is the 75? Based on two metal doors, two furnaces, got a hazzy, a bow, got enough meat, and we've got enough resources to carry on. So I think for the first day we haven't done too bad. It's getting a bit late my side, so I think I'm going to log off and hope that this is all standing by tomorrow morning. my bed here. Oh. Alright, so we've made it through the evening, that's great. So let's see what we can do now.
didn't know scientists do this. I guess it's because I'm in a safe zone. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck, bro. A quick early morning airfield run. Can't see anything wrong with it. Shakshar. Oh, nice. Nice. Ladder hatch. I need one of those. Some rifle bodies. Sounds like a ray going off in the distance. Pumpy. seriously do with the horse. Looks like I've safely made it to outpost. I guess I'm gonna recycle all of this nonsense I've picked up. So out of all of that we got 261 scrap, 426 metal frags, 200 wood and 12 hard quals. I'd say that's not too bad. Oh, and let me not forget the cloth. Now I'm just gonna continue with that research. I wanted to make myself one of these. I don't know if that's the right path. I think that's what we're gonna do. Unlock, 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 unlock. Why is my mouse on the screen? I think I'm gonna get to base and restart the PC quickly or something, I don't know. Restart the game. Maybe that'll fix the problem. Okay, we made it back to base. I'm just gonna quickly restart and see what's happening. Cause, yeah, this is actually annoying. Ew. I'll be right back. After logging back on, I quickly decided to go for a scrap run and also to get some more, you know, animal meat or anything like that. Anything I could really get to get started off at this point. I decided to check out the abandoned cabins and see if there was anything worthwhile. It was clearly a waste of time, so I decided to hit the road. And as you know, the roads are full of scientists. Yeah, I try and kill them all so I can better my aim and get better at the game.
After I was done killing this scientist, I carried on with the road, not expecting much else to happen, but of course there's always that one last scientist that's waiting for me. I did manage to get out of there and not really get killed, but the problem was I had no cloth and there was no recycler nearby, so I had to make the decision to just run at night all the way back home. But not before heading to outpost to recycle all our goods first. So this whole time I've been playing, thinking that my mic has been on, not knowing that it hasn't been on. I'm just happy we made it back to Outpost considering that I only had 22 HP at the fishing village. And now somehow I have 91 HP. I mean, I didn't do anything. So, I don't really know, but I'm happy about it. So, yeah, I've got some more scrap. I will go and study some more stuff now. So on my way back to base, I decided to just reconfigure my base style and make it a bit more cozy by putting in a bear rug and a normal rug and a big box and then afterwards I went to go collect some wood okay yeah so that should be okay for now I mean 4700 wood should do the job just to get my furnaces going Rust is actually so nice on a beautiful sunny day. Especially if nobody's trying to kill you. And it's such a beautiful game. Let's make these two. Two of those. Well, those are busy, we can carry on with our tree. What do we need for level one here? Yeah, scrap, there's some sulfur in the What can we do? We need to get more scrap. That's like really important. So we are going to go to where haven't we gone yet? The dome. You think we're able to do the dome? Only one way to find out, I guess. While I was running, I actually noticed that my neighbor over here was asleep. So, I guess this is where his room is. Quite an odd base design. But I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to play. But for now, I'm on a mission to the dome. And so we've made it to the dome. Doesn't look like anybody's here. But I guess we will find out. A green crate. Let's see if there's something interesting. No. Laptop, rifle body, uh, and switch, some metal, f I mean, some scrap, another rifle body, and some scrap. Well, that wasn't what I wanted. I 
So I'll take these for something. I don't know if you can trade them in for scrap or something like that. so bad. Eleven scrap. Was that worth the eleven scrap? I don't believe so. and decided to go check it out because it looked like it was decaying but I quickly stopped at mining outposts to scrap all the goods I've picked up from the road so far obviously going to look at the base wasn't a high priority but it was something that I was looking at doing but first I wanted to go stash some of the scrap that I've collected After much thought I decided to quickly come and look at the base just to see what's what but at the time I looked at it I couldn't see any openings except for everything that was so high up above. So I decided to quickly go to the mining outpost, recycle all of the items I've just gained from the road and then go get a stash and go plant it in the ground somewhere. I think we need to make a secret stash so we've got 600 scrap now. Big rock. Alright, so now we can carry on farming. Jeez, how many of these paddles am I gonna get? Paddle in a desert. Right. I went to recycle a few items at the sewer branch and then afterwards I had some fun with some scientists. I think now's the time we head back to base because uh, if we don't we might get caught off guard and then lose everything so let's do it while it's still under the cover of darkness as you know when it's dark I think that's the best time for me to make plans to run away or get loot back home so yeah now is the perfect time Look at that, we have a thousand scrap. Now we have to make it home with all of this. Well first let's go to the outpost. That's what we want to do first. So let's just run straight for outpost. Isn't Rust just so beautiful? Alright, so we made it to outposts. So let's make the workbench, level 2, 
And then let's research some more stuff here. What is it that we need to research? We said shotgun. Silencer, not such a big deal. But then again, this is a big deal. Oh well, might as well do that. 20, 75, 75. So we have completed a whole row. I think now we should head back to base with what we have. While I was at base, I couldn't help myself but upgrade a bit more of the base because honestly, it just didn't feel safe enough. I don't feel comfortable living in a 2x2 two two or anything smaller than that. So I kind of just made the base a little bigger just so I felt more comfortable. And then it's also not so obvious where to raid from. But then again this is rust. Should be okay like this. But we need stone. 12 minutes left. Looks like we have to go farm. After gathering enough resources, I came back to base to finish off what I started before I log off for the evening. Because this is basically going to be the end of day 2 now. But I need to first make sure that everything is secure. I guess they were just shooting for fun then. So, um, yeah, I think we log off for tonight and then come back tomorrow and see where we're headed. And I think tomorrow's focus will be just securing this base a little bit more and then getting more scrap so we can start with our level 2 check tree all the items we need here mostly armor and weapons and um, then once that's done we can work towards the level 3 items uh, Sounds like there's other guys outside my base. Well guys, it's been a good uh, good day. I think it's time for me to get some shutter and uh, carry on tomorrow. Oh. So it looks like we survived the evening. Still alive, I still have my base. Everything's here on an uh, intoxicated server. But I must say, the server isn't that busy. 30 people online to 50 people online since I've joined. And I mean, the cap on the server is about 120. There are people here, it's not like there's no one. I guess we can go start the day. For the past two days while I've been playing, I haven't encountered any hostile you know, enemies or hostile players. But uh, I'm about to meet someone that was about to change all that. Oh my word! Can you believe it? 
And then my PC also decided to crap itself. Fuck you. Ah, uh, that's how the game goes, I guess. Now at this point, I didn't know where this person came from or who they were. But uh, I was just being a bit cautious as this was my only gun at the moment. So uh, yeah, I try to figure out where this person was, but we do find the base and uh, he's definitely going to get what he deserves. I wasn't exactly sure where the place stayed, but little did I know the base would be quite easy to find. But I decided to go to the desert for the evening and go and get more scrap. As quick as I got to Dome, I had to leave. Looks like someone got there before me. So I was a little late to the party. Oh well. Ah. Let's keep running the road, I guess. I did go over to the raided or decayed base to go see what was happening there but it just looked like it was empty and uh, yeah I do get to the base later on in the WAP but this base was nothing more than just empty promises for me I did run the road a bit more to get some scrap and I came to the sewer branch to just make sure that I could scrap everything so I have more space so when I'm on my way back home that I could still get some more scrap and some components to scrap later on and uh, yeah it was it was a long painful process but we did it After killing the wolf, I decided that I would quickly go to the raid or decayed base to go research a few items there as there was a research table. And at the same time, while I was there, I was just going to check up and see if the door's health was any lower or not. On the way back from the raid base or the decayed base, I decided to quickly stop and take advantage of another decayed base by stealing some furnaces and boxes. Sounds like this guy next door is causing a bit of a stir. So far nothing, but I can hear he's inside, that's for sure, and it's becoming daytime now.
Where is this guy? Here he is. Here we go. I don't like this. Bro, you super got black. What the fuck? Why would you do that? You're so gay. No, you kept me. And we got a review out of that. Cool. I'd say that was a success, and we got our kit back. Let's upgrade to some metal here. Yeah. Last thing we need is someone. Raiding through, and yeah, that will be the end of us very fast. And I'm not really in the mood for that. So, that should work. Is the Chinook gonna drop? I don't know. Oh boy. It has dropped. So I just need to come back in 15 minutes. While I was trying to place a sleeping bag near the train yard, I overheard a player busy building a base and I couldn't help but wonder is he loaded or not so I went over to see if he was but you know something told me he's probably not but little did I know this player possibly could have been so loaded but that's that's rust you must always take the chance when you get it always take it What do you have? Logged on, dude. Sorry about that. I'm not sure why I didn't kill Vlad when I had the chance. He was possibly loaded, because later in the wipe, base was completely metal. So, yeah. Maybe I left him alone because I thought, you know, I wouldn't want to be interrupted as a newbie or as, you know, someone trying to start out on the server. So. You know, I paid my respects to him and left him alone. But I took a break and then after the break I came back to go get the crate. And we are back. It's time for us to go and see if we can get that crate. Let's go for it. really got ourselves a powerful gun here. While I was running back to base from the crater, I overheard someone chopping the tree, and you won't believe who it was, and you will not believe what I did. Why I do these things, I don't know. Yo, what's up Vlad? Vlad, 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 Vlad. It's me, it's the guy earlier. I'm here to give you something. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah. There we okay. go, bro. Don't shoot me with oh, it. Oh, fucking thanks, man. Cool, man. Oh, thank you, dude. Jeez, this is that new gun that they talk about. I must say, I really like it. It's even got a little burger on the side. <laughs> we got ourselves a Parthen. This is really cool. Now we'll just make ourselves a little revolver just so that, you know, we can still have a small weapon to run around with. Because we don't actually need a big weapon, we just need something to run around with in case. Got guns, that's that's great. I wonder if you can actually research this item. Five hundred. So it is something you can research and make. 
Interesting. I quickly ran to Outpost to go do a little bit more recycling so I can get some scrap to study the SMG. Once I was done researching the SMG back at base, I headed out to Dome to get more scrap and see what else I can get along the road. Custom SMG. I wonder how many people live in that base. I wonder if it's a duo, a trio, or oh, if there's more players. Cool, got some gears. What the heck? Medium sized battery. Auto turrets. It's quickly gonna come here, scrap some stuff, and head back to base. So when we start the new warp, at least we have some stuff, you know, to build. Basically, build ourselves a nice base, secure, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. Every time I saw this base, there was just nothing for me here at this place. I mean, I, I lost out so many opportunities. 800 scrap later. Cool. And since I had so much scrap, I just decided to study most of the things that I could. Oh, and we need to research this. So we're not doing too bad, eh? And we're left with 11 scrap. Um, yeah, I think for now I'm just going to take a little bit of a break. Don't go anywhere, stick around. Alright, then we are back. The LED seems to be out. Right over there. We did miss the opportunity to on go and look and loot this base, but I mean, we can kind of still do that if we want to. I think for now we won't do that. What we need to do right now is go and farm because it looks like we're running a bit low on some resources. Okay, but it looks like I'm all good to go and farm in the snow. Um, just a bit worried about this heli being out. So I'm not too sure if I want to just sit around and wait for the heli to finish uh, doing its rounds. And then I make my way out, or if I go right away now. Um, I'll take that with me in case, because I need to get rid of these anyway. I need them. Um, let's let's go see what's happening here. That's all empty. So if you step in, it will definitely shoot at you. Uh, where's the heli going? Uh, looks like it's going away. Ah, what do you know? Here's a node right here. Just quickly at the outpost, I actually want to see if it's possible to buy this one rocket launcher I saw for 700 sulfur. I mean, if that's true, then geez, I'm not gonna complain. So, where was it? Rocket launcher. Why can't I buy one? 20 scrap delivery fee. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, I think I do need to do a bit of construction on the base. And 
That's it, we got a bit of a more secure base, if I could say so. And uh, yeah, just gonna make some extra shelving here. That was not the plan. So yeah, looks like we're gonna have to go for another scrap hunt. As you all know by now, I'm very famous with these scientists on the road. And, uh, yeah. What? Are you even a scientist? Seriously. Huh? What the hell? I don't, I don't even know if that's normal. Those burn arrows that weak or something? Like, that was weird, man. Nothing to see here. saying there's not many players in my area but there are a lot of players on the server I haven't seen many people but we start realizing that there are a lot more people on the server and things start getting bumped up a bit but uh, yeah I realized that I've got a lot of work ahead of me and this is basically just the beginning Like I just get shot at and I'm like what the fuck and then I just get hit in the side I'm like oh my god <laughs> Two of us. Oh, shit. That's up to you two now. I'm out of here. Coming to think of it now, I actually think they were like teammates or something because they're just acting a bit funny around each other. They weren't really attacking each other, if I could say it that way. I mean, they weren't actually attacking each other at all. They're like not campers. Look at this. Look at this. Where's the third guy? Didn't see him anywhere. Oh, he's right here in front of me. Where 
Where is he? Oh, there he is. I see him. He's right in front of me. Yeah. Psst, give me something. Give me something. Give me something. Man, man, that's not what I meant. <laughs> These guys are just camping the dome. Well, I'm not gonna go fiddle around there right now. I don't know if they were together or if it was... I don't, know, I don't even know what was happening, so... How many attachments can this thing take now? Jeez. Let me notice that now. So, for scrapping, I guess we're going to be doing this running down this road here. I think that is our best route, maybe for now. So we're gonna try running this road here down. Last time we tried this, uh, we came, we got to about here, and a scientist almost killed us on the beach side. And uh, now, obviously, we have a bit more equipment, so we're gonna come down this road again and see what's going on. Uh, this time, it shouldn't be that bad. Now I know it's day three already, and I'm still running around with the crossbow, and I'm not running around with any proper guns, even though I have all the guns. But like I said at the beginning of the swap, the, the goal was just to get scrap. There was no other goal but making sure that I study as much as possible or everything that is important before map wipe. So this is basically what I did the whole time while running the roads. I didn't go do puzzles or anything of such, I just ran the roads because in my mind that was probably the easiest way for me to get scrap and the safest way without having to go to monuments because I was here to get as much as possible and also not to get killed at the same time but it was a long process place the bear rug uh, bear rugs are nice they're nice cover up the wall a bit just gonna give this place a bit of a cozy feel. Why well, that won't work, I don't know. There we go. This is my 100% comfort room, I hope. No? Well, it's good enough. Ah! Idiots. I'll just leave that there. Right now, I'm just focused on scrap. I mean, I'm not focused on fighting. That's next. You know, when the wipe happens, you'll know about the fighting. But until then, I'm not looking at fighting anybody. Unless, you know, I have to. Like that other one kid. Eh, that happens.
Okay guys, I'm not sure what happened, uh, yeah, I lost a bit of footage there, but right now this is what our base looks like. Got this section here now, We've got this open for a ladder, triangle ladder hatch, at least I can see what's happening outside my base on this side. And then over here we will have some sort of turret or, I don't know, boxes, random tree, but at least I can see what's happening outside of my base here, if I need to, so that's great. And I am planning on closing this off with some triangle uh, floor pieces and uh, seeing what you know, else I can do, but I want to close this off, uh, kind of sealing it in a way. Um, yeah, I don't really want anybody to blow through this roof and they straight in. We have also managed to research a few items. So at the moment, we still have this, um, and those two new items. You've seen that already. Uh, um, we have managed to get some clothing and a riot helmet uh, we've got some tools we do have some all the medicals a lot of weapons at the moment uh, we do have this gun at the, the uh, HMLMG that's going to be very cool to see how that's going to play out you know when I can actually build this um, but for now I'm not really worried about any of that uh, we do have that for ammo we have a shotgun trap, we have a battery, large battery and auto turret because it's going to be key for the next base build and um, yeah, at the moment we have six satchels we haven't studied this python apparently, I uh, need to study it still, I uh, don't know but yeah, then there's all of these bits and pieces here, components and we have this we still need to study the metal chest, metal chest plates. Um, yeah, we got quite a few metal frags for now, and enough stone. So I mean, the base is pretty much fun until the what, which will be on the 16th of June. Well, yeah, we need to get back to scrapping, eh? That's what's left to do. Back to it. Alright, so we just made it back to base with quite a bit of loot. Um, I think what we're gonna do with this is we've got 761 scrap. Study this chest plate. And uh, let's not forget the path one because that's quite important as well. went to Outpost just to recycle a few more components and then while I was there I was going to buy myself an MP5 from a local store on the map. with a new MP5. Not too bad, eh? Any problem with this type of skin, it's just so bright. I mean, someone will see you in the bush or if you're trying to hide from them. It's just, yeah, it's gonna be quite difficult. We 
need to still get more scrap. Uh, we are not done. We're actually only halfway there. Level one stuff is complete. It's mostly just the level two things now and level three. Um, so yeah, we've still got quite a long way ahead of us, but we are very close to actually making this goal a reality. But the real question remains: Will I be able to learn every single blueprint? before map wipe. If you've enjoyed the content please leave a like on the video and don't forget to comment also and subscribe to the channel it really does help. I will be uploading as regular as possible I will try my best so don't forget to just comment on what you would like to see and when you would like to see it and we can always make a plan and make things happen. I will be uploading part 2 at the end of this month so please don't forget to subscribe but for now I'm gonna just say Good night.